go ahead and draw a small diagram. It doesn't have to be beautiful, but it does have to be big enough that you can do some thinking on it. Okay, and I'm going to add a construction here in a second. So, the reason I know this can't be, they can't intend me to talk about compass bearings, north, north east, south, west, is because, look at the size of the angle, 33. Do you see it's an awkward number? It's awkward. It's not um, a right angle of anything. It's not even 45 degrees off anything. It's not even 22.5 degrees off anything. It's just this random number out in the middle of nowhere. So therefore, the only way when they say, please give us the bearing, is to use this system here, true bearings. Okay? When I measure a true bearing, where do I start from? I always start from north. So you can see that's why um, this angle is here. This angle is really large because it has to go all the way around. Okay? So I'd like you to, with your, if you've got another color, that would be nice, mark in the starting point up from here on north, and then go all the way around until you get to the desired position. I think they're calling the starting point O and you're measuring 2P. Okay. O's in the middle? Uh, I think they just mean the point, so it could be anywhere. Okay. Now, let's have a look at this. There's a, at least a few different angles we have to measure in here. For instance, every time you go through a quarter rotation, a quadrant, that means 90 degrees, right? Do you agree? 90 up there? 90 up uh, down here? What's this little one? It's not a full 90 degrees. It's going to be 57. It's the complement of 33. Do you remember that word? Complement? They add up to a right angle, 90 degrees. Okay, 180 is a supplement. So I've got a total angle there. 90, 90, 57. What's the bearing? What's the bearing? 237 degrees. True. Now, underneath here, just for this question, I won't ask you to do it for the rest, but now is a perfect opportunity to point it out. I want you to note language, because this is a really tricky thing, especially in some of the harder questions. After 237 degrees true, could you please write for me, is the bearing dot, dot, dot. And now there are two ways I can say it. I can say of P from O. Or I could say from O to P. These mean the same thing. Even though the order is different, you can see it's these tiny little connecting words, these guys, of, from, from, to. They're the ones that indicate the meaning. Because the bearing from P to O is different. Think about it. It's a different question. Um, the question hasn't asked you, but I'm asking you now. If I wanted to find the bearing from P to O, remember I asked you to draw this a second ago, you're going to need a new little compass over here, right? We're going to have a look at this. Have a look. Where is the bearing from P to O? Where do you always start from? What direction do you start from? You always start from north. So here's north up there. And you're going to measure this angle over here. I apologize that's so small. I should have made my diagram bigger as well. What bearing is that? Can you see a little construction? It's actually not 33. It's related to 33, though. OK, pause for a moment. Pause for a moment. Shh. I've heard, the, I've heard some wrong answers and some right answers. Leo. I'm less interested in the number and more interested in why. I can give you two reasons why the answer is 57. Here's my first one. See this angle here? Do you notice it's related in a very specific way, think all the way back to year 7, with this angle? What's the relationship between those angles? They are alternate angles on because every north line is facing in the same direction. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's the first thing. There's another way you can know it. Have a look at this. Imagine if I just extended that line up. It's a north line, yeah? What's it colliding with? What line is this? It's a west line. So these lines are 
perpendicular to each other. They're at right angles, which means up in here, there's a triangle there. You can find out the angle sum. You'll still get 57. Okay? So this is super, super important. These words are so tiny, but we know, I've mentioned this to you all year, mathematicians are so obsessed with packing lots of meaning into a very little space and being succinct that just a difference of two letters changes the answer entirely. 57 degrees versus 237. Okay, so read the question carefully is what I'm trying to indicate to you.